Hi friends, in this video let us discuss about a modified syringe for CTS. Take a 10 ml syringe, use a number 12 blade attached in BP handle and cut the distal end of this 10 ml syringe. It should be done at the most distal end and it should be done with care. And after cutting the distal end of the 10 ml syringe, we are reversing the piston to get a small area of suction to do the syringa for carpal tunnel syndrome. We need to get a small space where the median nerve is compressed and that is the cause for carpal tunnel syndrome. Before doing the procedure, here you may see, you can see the piston is reversed. Now we are checking the tunnel sign. Now we are creating a suction using the 10 ml syringe. You may see over that particular area where the median nerve is compressed, a suction is created to do the modified syringa. Before doing the procedure, always check for systemic illness. Here I am using a number 18 needle to make the prick or we can use a number 12 surgical blade for the same purpose. It is very effective in grade 2 carpal tunnel syndrome. And then we are applying the suction to that particular area and wait for 10 minutes. Actually this continuously doing this procedure may cause lateral epicondylitis to the doctor. This procedure is a bit strenuous, but this procedure is very effective. You may see the column of blood is coming up. After 10 minutes, we can uh, remove the suction by keeping cotton over both sides. We can remove the suction. And then we can wipe out the blood. After the procedure also, we can check phalanx test again 50 to 80 percent relief will be there immediately after the procedure always check for systemic illness like hypothyroidism diabetes mellitus and then after checking the phalanx test again we are doing a bandage a one day bandage is kept over that particular area thank you